A man walks in on an armed robbery in his own living room and then gets shot. And now the search is on for his shooters. Rebecca Schleicher joins us live from Vanderbilt Medical Center with the latest. And how's the victim doing, Rebecca? Yeah, Rory, this is where 31 year old Derek Joyce is recovering tonight. Police tell me that he is stable right now, though he has been shot several times in his lower body. People who live in the neighborhood where he was shot say they pride themselves on looking out for their neighbors, but by the time they sprung into action, it was just too late. Police search from the air and on the ground for two armed robbers who shot a 31 year old man when he walked in on a home invasion. Someone was screaming, calling 911. I panicked because I know him because we are good neighbors around here. So of course I panicked. Police say the suspect showed up at the house in broad daylight. Homeowner 53 year old Deborah Joyce was inside while two men worked on the outside of the home. They held all three at gunpoint, forcing Deborah to lay on top of one of the workers to keep him down too. For this to happen to my neighbor and it's like I wasn't outside to, you know, to look out for them. After 20 minutes of ransacking the house, Deborah's nephew, Derek Joyce, came home. He struggled with the suspects and was shot three times. Neighbors say they're shaken and upset. We all close. When they heard the screams for help, many of them jumped into action, calling 911. They kept me on the phone telling me to put stuff around them, you know, the wounds or whatever way he'd been shot at. And leading responders to the right place. I motioned the ambulance, the fire truck where you know the house was because they was all still in the house. Right now police are looking for the workers and the robbers. They say they don't know what led them to the house and that scares these neighbors even more. Yeah, it's very scary. It's just it's too much going on. Who worry they could be the next target. Yeah, police couldn't give us a very good description of the suspects this afternoon. They say they seem to be perhaps in their late teens or early 20s and they were wearing all black, but nobody really got a good look at them. So they are asking anyone who knows anything to call them.